Welcome back to the Budget Gamer channel where we bring you critical and in-depth reviews of just about every indie game we can get our hands on and today we're going to be taking a look at Journey of a Broken Circle for the Nintendo Switch. And this is yet another indie game that about a dozen fans have suggested over the last few weeks and I am so happy that it finally went on sale because in all honesty it was a pretty amazing experience. But it certainly wasn't the experience I was expecting. As with most walking sim games, or probably more appropriately called narrative style games, where the entire purpose of the game itself is just to tell a story from a unique perspective, I'll be honest, I've gotten kind of used to these style games just being kind of off the wall and telling really amazingly deep thoughts, but about stuff that is sometimes a little bit too out there and, and really takes a bit of a reach on behalf of the player to, to really... Uh, metabolize and connect to their own lives. In Journey of a Broken Circle though, it was borderline too close to home because it was so flippin' relatable. But getting into the actual gameplay, um, Journey of a Broken Circle is, like I said, a narrative style game, so the entire purpose is just hearing a story. And as you would expect from any other walking sims you may have played, though there might be some puzzles and though there might be some platforming, it is suitably light. But that's not to say that there's no difficulty in the game, because the whole premise of the game is being a broken circle. By very definition of being incomplete, you're missing something. And so as you roll and bounce through the landscapes, your real objective is to find something to help you be complete. And along your way through the game's progression, you'll meet certain characters that you either convince that they should go with you, or maybe they convince you that they're absolutely perfect for your life and integrating their skills, abilities, and deficits, the gameplay style will slightly change to demonstrate how you are as a new whole. And whether you've managed to pick up a little pine cone that can help you stick to walls and climb out of caves, or possibly a small balloon that can help you soar to new heights in the game, each one of these new characters that you've tried to use to fill your own void augment and alter gameplay as well as the story, the emotions, and even the scenery. And if you haven't picked it out yet, there is a huge subtext and supertone of love and loss, or the love of persons, but the loss of those relationships. And so while you will be moving ever forward and climbing ever higher and making new relationships on this journey of self-discovery, you'll also have to battle with the darkness, approaching the very abyss itself and making that decision as well. And so like I said, while it wasn't the story I was expecting, Journey of a Broken Circle is an amazing experience for anyone who's uh, lived a little bit of life already. And get ready, because some of the game's dialogue and situations might uh, hit you right in the feels. But looking at Journey of a Broken Circle visually, looking at its presentation and its audio, it is an absolutely beautiful game. At times, it is utterly sparse and desolate, giving you that really present sense of solitude or loneliness. And in darker times, darker experiences for the game's character, you're crawling through dark caverns. And as you're approaching the abyss, everything just loses all semblance of life and divorces itself of even color. But at other times, you're climbing through the sky and seeing sunrises on snow-capped mountains. And so visually, the entire metaphor of the game is absolutely brilliantly done. And I'm happy to say the audio soundtrack of the game is perfectly suited. And so I'd have to say really high marks for the visuals and the audio. But while Journey of a Perfect Circle is an amazing experience, with great visuals, great audio, and the simple mechanics make for a really easily palatable story for just about any level of gamer, there are a couple of flaws to be noted. One of which is that on rare occasion of the game, and it certainly doesn't stifle game progress at all, you might notice a couple frame rate drops. In certain points of the game, there's a lot going on visually, and so it makes sense that a spike in load would make a drop in frame rate. But those are very few and far between and very forgivable. But one that's a little harder to deal with and does raise the difficulty level of the game just a bit is actually the control scheme. One specific instance being when you meet Miss Moss about a third of the way through the game. And no, don't worry, this is nothing about a spoiler, it's merely just a demonstration of how some of the controls work. Because each character that you meet changes how you actually play through the rest of the game. Miss Moss in particular has a unique ability that does cause the platforming to get a little bit tricky. Because you will have to perfectly time the ability to stick to the walls and the ability to release, because in those particular areas of the game you no longer have the ability to jump. But that being said, if you actually get into the metaphors, it makes a lot of sense, and it's, it's actually kind of an awesome detail. 
But because it is a walking sim and because there's so much subtext, I cannot break myself away from the just the absolute need to talk about it. So if you do want to hear a little bit more of the subtext, possibly on the level of a bit of a spoiler, I'm going to throw up a spoiler warning and uh, just go ahead and click off. You've already heard enough of the review to make that decision for yourself, I hope. But otherwise, let's get into some meat and potatoes. Because Journey of a Broken Circle has so much more than face value, and it actually took me a while to sleep on the game and, and really let it all kind of grow inside to see how it affected me as a person. You're playing as a circle. You're playing as a circle who sees themselves as being broken because they're incomplete. They're not perfect. And this means that if they're not perfect and society says that they're supposed to be perfect, there must be something missing and there must be some way to fix themselves. And so finding your first little pinecone buddy who's well-rooted, they have more drive, more devotion, more stability, and don't really see themselves as being broken or incomplete. And so you convince them to go with you as if you're their answer that they never knew they needed. And while they do help you climb and stick to it and be a more grounded individual, eventually you start to realize that they're not grounded, they're actually holding you back. And despite knowing this, the breakup is still hard. And so the game has you going from personality to personality in a more relationship style, finding ways to fill the void. And maybe you get with somebody like the balloon who's a little more flighty or somebody who is absolutely perfect and they never stop letting you know it. So much so that you're willing to do anything for them, sending your life completely out of control until eventually you wake up and realize this isn't what you need. And the whole time you're experiencing the ups and downs of the game, the ups and downs of life, taking yourself all the way to the precipice of the abyss and realizing who you are and what you need to feel complete even though you're broken. And no, I'm not going to give away the ending of the game, but for anyone who did stick around for this little bit of the meta review, hopefully it was helpful and hopefully this game is something that you might actually need that might speak to you as a person. Because to be painfully honest, I definitely saw myself as having been that circle on more than one occasion. And now, especially during the COVID crisis, it's really hard not to feel that way. And so while the game's messages might force you to confront some darknesses that you'd maybe been pushing to the back of your mind, overall, hopefully it's a healthy, enriching, and wonderful experience. But anyway, that does about bring us to the end of the review of Journey of a Broken Circle, now on the Nintendo Switch. So if you enjoyed the review, or especially if you found it helpful, feel free to throw us a comment or a like to show your support, and don't forget to click that little bell icon when you subscribe to stay updated with the latest content. Because there are new and unique indie games coming out literally every single day, and whether it's an easy hard pass or an absolutely unforgettable gem, chances are if it's on the Switch, you're gonna find out about it right here. But anyway, this has been the Budget Gamers, as always. Thanks for watching.